Good morning. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass on this Monday in the octave of Easter. This morning's Mass intention is for John and Mary Keeney, requested by the Allen family. Let us begin with the entrance, Antiphon. The Lord has led you into a land flowing with milk and honey, that the law of the Lord may always be on your lips. Alleluia. Good morning. In the name of the Father, under the Son, under the Holy Spirit. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us feel sorry for our sins and pray to God forgive us. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people our goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offering, offspring. Grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and listen to my words. You who are citizen, are children of Israel, clear. hear these words. Jesus, the Nazarene, was a man commanded to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man delivered up by the set plan and foreknowledge of God, you killed, using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart has been glad, and my tongue has exalted. My flesh, too, will dwell in hope, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn an oath to him that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. <clears throat> God raised this Jesus. Of this we are all witnesses. 
exalted at the right hand of God, he poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father, as you both see and hear. The word of the Lord. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my God are you, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. Be safe, O God. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights of your right hand forever. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce the news to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priest all that had happened. The chief priest assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You ought to say, His disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep. And if this gets to the ears of the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has circulated among the Jews to the present day. The Gospel of the Lord. Mary Magdalene went to the tomb while it was still dark. Today we are also called to wake up early while it is still dark. We are not supposed to linger in our beds, but get up and do what we need to do, because it is time to love and serve the Lord. St. Paul, in his letter to the Romans, he told, 
it is the hour now for you to awake from sleep for our salvation is near now the night is advanced the day is at hand let us then throw off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light we sing during this season the morning has broken while it is easter sunday and the world seems fresh and new pure and joyful just we enter into more light and see the spring still the world is under darkness under the grip of evil the hands of evil so we are called to work each and every day to dispel the darkness try to keep the light that jesus has brought by his own resurrection so at this present time we are called to be armed with the truth of the holy spirit the righteousness the faith and the true peace which has been brought by the gospel of jesus christ let us awake and continue to fight to dispel the darkness so that only the light peace and joy may reign in our world let us offer our prayers and petitions to the lord for the church may the holy spirit continue to guide and protect her in this easter season and magnify her light of truth and goodness in the world let us pray to the lord for world leaders may the lord bless them may the lord bless them with fearless vision to act for the true common good of those they govern Let us pray to the Lord. For all who struggles with for all who struggles with addiction have caused separation from their families, may they through the mercy of God be reconciled with their loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who were welcomed into the church at the Easter vigil, may they continue to grow in the gifts and fruits of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. For all our deceased family members, may they soon share in the joy of the resurrected Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. And for those special intentions that we keep in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Uh, you all know Barbara Horst. who used to come for daily mass sit on the first pew now she is fighting for her life near in the end as she may pass at any time after fighting with her illness for the last 16 months please keep her in your prayers that she may have the peaceful death heavenly father We humbly pray that you grant these petitions and prayers through Jesus Christ who lives forever and ever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which it has given, and human hands made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. To the Lord, to the praise and glory of His name. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your peoples, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, Overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. O Son and the Highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son and the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sin down spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thank, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of faith and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who found asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. That we may have the strength to dispel the darkness in our world, let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant for peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of Take away the sins of the world and the sin. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. The blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should end on my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. communion antiphon. Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray may the grace of this paschal sacrament abound in our minds we pray o lord and make those who have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts through christ our lord The Lord be with you. With May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. And Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, Thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Pray to Saint Joseph, Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted His only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself your Father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.